everybody, my name is Steven and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be creating a pixelated effect. It's going to be as if this car was exploding into some pixels or leaving pixels behind it like a pixel trail. And to start off, what I'm going to do is just scale down this image and I got this from, I think it's Stock, Ex Stock Exchange, just some free stock photo website. I'm going to scale it down just to give some room in the back something like that and then I'm going to delete this background layer and I just have my magic brush with a tolerance of one and once you have that you can duplicate this layer and I'm just going to hide it because we'll use it later and then I'm going to create a layer in the background and just fill it with white and then above this I'm going to create a new layer and grab my brush tool now I'm using a square brush probably about 10 pixels or so and then you want to bring up your brush pre presets. And the first one you want, want to do is work on the spacing. You want to space it out a bit, as you can see. And then shape dynamics, the jitter. I'm going to have set to pen pressure. And then scattering. I'm going to have the scatter up all the way. And you can mess with the, the count depending on whatever you want. Okay. So when you have that, I'm going to just that's a little big. I'm just going to paint out just a couple of pixels just to see um, just until I'm happy with the way that it's looking. Change the size. And I'm going to try and stay away too I'm going to stay away from the edge of the document. Not going to get too close to this right here. Probably a few more. Let's get some by these wheels. and then just delete these hanging over ones right here okay we'll work with that so now with this I'm going to duplicate it again drag it, drag it to the top then go to filter and liquify I'm going to uh, just drag this out something like this you don't have to be too precise with it Lower my brush size a bit. And this is going to be used just to get some color onto those pixels that we just drew. So like that. As you can see, it's overlaying it. And what I'm going to do is change this to difference. And you can see it's coloring that. Okay. So when you have that, you can right click here and go to create clipping mask. I'm sorry that's cut off a bit. And then I am going to select here, go to filter or select and grow. And then selection inverse and just mask that off. And then you can come over to your paintbrush and I'm going to just paint back a couple of these right here because I think it's a little bit too heavy. I'm going to go to my brush, bring down scattering a bit, bring up count, and I'm just going to paint back some of these areas over here. Okay, you get the idea. But that's pretty much the gist of it, of how to explode it into pixels. Now let's decorate it a bit, make it a little bit nicer looking. So we have this original layer right here, and what I want to do is turn it on and go to select or image mode desaturate. And what that's going to do is turn it gray. And as you can see what that's turning into is a pretty nice effect where um, it looks like the paint is actually coming off. But what I want to do is just go to that layer here, zoom in, and I'm going to delete the wheels. I'm just going to do a quick rough selection around it, delete, and then the same thing with the windows over here. Again, just I'm going to be rough with it because I don't want to take up too much of your time. Down here, across here, and then let's just go around. Very nice. Okay, delete that. Turn on all your layers. 
and you can see it kind of looks like the paint is peeling off of it. But I want to make that a little bit brighter by going to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And I'm going to bring up the lightness. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to put on my white background again. And then double click on these pixels and bring up the layer styles. And I'm going to add a slight drop shadow. I'm going to bring the distance to about 2. Spread, going to bring that up and size maybe one. Or let's bring that to zero. And just raise the opacity. Going to put on a stroke, one pixel. I'm going to make it white and lower that opacity. Just so it stands out a bit. Click on OK. One thing we could try is adding a drop shadow to this nothing too much the one distance spread of 100 size to zero maybe and lower that opacity so it actually looks like there's some depth between the paint and the silver background and yep that's going to finish off this tutorial thanks for watching and hope you found this useful